Oh, this is really promising. Look at this alley here. I want to go down this. Welcome to today's video. As it's a weekend, I am in Chatu Chat Market. I've come here to check it out once again. I was here about two to three weeks ago, but it seems as though things have now picked back up here. So let's go and check it out. Right, so I've come to the food court to get me the first meal of the day. Ooh, pack of power. Pack of power. Yeah, let's go. Give you a pack of power. Uh, Coke for me, mate? Me, cup. Okay, cool. That was quick and efficient. Look how many people are here. It looks as though the amount of foreigners that are coming here has really picked back up because last time I was here I only saw a few but sat at this food court I can see quite a lot. So today's video is going to be super intense. I'm going to try and cover Chatty Chat Market then also cover Bang Su Common Cab then also cover Bang Su Junction and then possibly go to the Chatty Chat Park once again and rent a bike. Three things, one video. Let's see if we can do it. Wow, that came quick. Look at that, we've got a basic pack of power here. Decent. I wonder if it's spicy. Oh, it smells spicy. Okay, five minutes later, I've devoured my dish and that cost me 90 baht with the coat. About £2.25 or about $2.75. Right, time to get it in. Right, so I'm not sure if I should dive into the alleys right away or go around the perimeter first. But you, what you'll notice is this place is really popular amongst like the youth and the teenagers because they sell a whole load of items uh, in relation to like fashion wear. They also do like uh, household items, antiques, pottery, sandals, shoes, you name it. If you watched my previous video, a lot of these shutters down this street would have been closed. Um, but they seem to all now reopen. I'm not sure if the same is true if we go inside the alleys. Oh, this is really promising. Look at this alley here. I want to go down this. You will certainly see, slowly but surely, things start to revive yet again. And this is evidence of that. Now, this place isn't exactly packed out because of the size of the market, but you do see a few people walking through these alleys. What I see people doing at this market is sticking around to the outside perimeter of it. And I don't know why. There's so many shops in the alleys and these authentic stores that people are missing out. Now, if I have to give you a rough estimate, it looks as though about 70% of market stores are open. You know how I was saying they sell everything here? They literally do. You've even got spices at this market. So you've got aroma diffusers, you've got snacks, you've got candles, you've got perfumes, you've got pots and pans and cutlery and pots for making papaya salad. You've got silverware here too. Look at this. Wow, really good quality as well. That's pretty heavy. While walking through the alleys, it's hard to find pockets of open air, but there are some like the one I'm standing under. It's nice. You get a nice breeze coming in through here just to cool down because the air can get a bit stuffy inside these alleys. The stores on the outside perimeters seem like they're generating good sales. But that store right there has got about, I don't know, a good six to eight people. There's honestly a buying frenzy going on in that shop and I don't know why. I, I don't quite understand it. It's such simple clothing yet people are going insane for it. Yeah, this soy, this is it. This is like one of the most beautiful soys you can get down here. Now the reason why this street is so pretty in my opinion is because they've got trees running through the middle. Look at this. The trunk of this tree is wider than me and it runs directly through the soil. Look at the way this tree has bent the metal sheet up there. <laughs> and what's really unique about this soy is these transparent awnings. You only get these particular style awnings down this street. You don't see them anywhere else. And the pavement is very unique here as well. You don't get it anywhere else in the market but these trees are sure lifting these <laughs> blocks of flowers from the floor. Look at that. But on a really bright day, you'll get streams of light seeping through the trees and really illuminating this soy, making it spectacular in warm colors. Chatty Chat Market is really a nice place to come here, get lost and spend an afternoon here. Right, so if you're thinking about coming to Chatty Chat Market, this is located on Kampeng Pet Road and you can get the MRT to Kampeng Pet Station, which is just in the corner there and it's like a two minute walk to the market. It's really close by. I came here by car, so I got my car parked in the Bangsu car parking lot. That's where we're gonna go to next. Okay, so I'm done with Chatty Chat Market. We're now gonna go to Bangsu Junction which is across the road over there. Unique to Bengsu Junction shopping mall are these corridors on the outside of the building. It's almost like these really long balconies that go from one floor to the next floor. I definitely want to try that out. 
Oh wow, look, the officer's waving everybody on. Come, Cappy! If it wasn't for that officer, none of these cars would have stopped. Look at this. For my audience that love their Amazon coffee, there's one on the ground floor of the Bangsu Junction shopping mall. Look at this. So the entrance I've walked in through seems to have a lot of jewellery around there. Um, I don't know if it's fashion jewellery or if it's real jewellery. I mean, my understanding is this entire shopping mall is dedicated to like antiques and vintage furniture. And it definitely lives up to that. Pika, this from Thailand or yeah, yeah, Thailand? And these, these are like from real signs, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice. Wow, I just noticed that you can actually walk up here to get to a second elevation which is supported by this scaffolding <laughs> it's like a loft conversion in this shop sewing machines from singer i don't know if they have something similar here in thailand but in the uk there's something called bargain hunt and uh there'll be like this tv competition show where like two teams red and blue would go around and try to find items for really cheap and then possibly sell them for more at auction and whichever team you know made the most amount of profit won and kept the money imagine waking up to a mirror like that and asking yourself mirror mirror on the wall who's the best youtuber of them all i don't think i have time to explore all the floors in detail but i'll give you a quick rundown if i can this mirror right here or well, the asking price is 99,000 baht so about two and a half grand in british pounds three thousand dollars usd well, I've arrived at the third floor and I'm a bit surprised because actually there's no signs of antiques on this floor. It's no longer dedicated to antiques. It's more apparel and clothing. Hi. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Definitely retro fashion wear on this particular floor of Bangsu Junction. Definitely a trip back to the past in this shopping mall. All right, we're going to the next floor up, which is the fourth floor. Usually I wear like the uh, baseball caps, but this is quite interesting. 1,900 baht. Oh, 1,900 baht. Yeah. Oh, okay. Second hand, nice. Some of the items that are being sold by merchants will be second hand. So it's a combination of like brand new, second hand. It's almost like a thrift store. And then on the fourth floor, we've got like a cinema here. Like anybody could just sit down and watch The Lion King. Look at this. <gasps> Oh no. And then the floor higher, seems as though there's no stalls. Everybody's just set out on the floor like a traditional market or a car boots. I think a lot of people here will spend quite a lot of time looking through junkyards, trying to find valuable pieces, bring them here and sell them for a profit. And then the next floor, which is the top floor, is barred off. Remember how I said I wanted to try the balconies on the outside of the shopping mall? Well, I'm going to try and find out how to get there now but I'm not sure if it's as clear cut as I think because some of the doors that lead to the balconies are closed off. So it's on the third floor with the escalator sign B3 where you've got the outside balcony that you can access. They even got food stalls out here too. This guy's working at the speed of light. What did you order? Oh, which one's that? This one? Uh, this one. This one, yeah? yeah. Oh, this is out of the way. Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Take a look at this view over Chat Chat. You've got a clock tower over there. Yeah, you've got the market stores in that direction. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, Bang Su is actually on the other side of this shopping mall. Hello, hello. It's actually three floors you can access from the outer balcony. So you've got the floor up there, another floor here, and another floor down there. Can you go through here? Oh, you can. Wow, it looks like this shop actually has real summarized. Hey, are these real? These are real, original, yeah? Wow. <laughs> from Japan, yeah? For women watching, you can get like two pieces for 170 bar from this little stool here. A 
Okay, everyone, I'm going to be wrapping up today's video right here. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share with friends and family. And I will see you on the next video. Many thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.